Hello everyone! Rick and Ryan are at it again. It's time for the Slightly Warped Podcast. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick. That's Big Show. Big Show, how you doing, man? I'm good, sir. How about yourself? I- I'm I'm doing good. Um, going a little different today um, because I'm taking some stuff out of the news and we're just going to talk about it, but uh, we're doing a nice, casual, relaxed atmosphere today. As I got Kobe Bryant on my shirt making a fist, but hey, um, it's that Mamba mentality, everybody. That's right. But um, before we get started, I don't know if you have any, but I've got some shout outs that I want to do, you know, to some people here. Go right ahead. Um, first off, Phil Machaney. Phil is um, very creative. Right now, he's in the comfort of his own home, building a small scale RMS Titanic. Sweet. Um, brother, don't put that in water though. Cause it might be accurate to the actual thing. <laughs> is it a, is it a puzzle or is it like a model or it's a model? It's a model. He showed Excellent. me a picture. He's, he's coming along with it. Uh, by Excellent. the time this airs, he might be done. I mean, he gets after it. Um, also want to give a shout out to Charles Kearney. Uh, very, very young, talented artist. So I expect to see a lot of his stuff uh, in the near future. And Amy Miller as well. Amy Miller, uh, also a very talented artist. Uh, she needs to get more of her stuff out there because she's damn good. Uh, continuing on with that, a uh, friend of the show uh, used to co-host with me, Kevin Manning, DJ2K giving a shout out to him because uh, if you guys know anybody that needs a DJ or you've got something yourself going on, contact DJ 2K and he's got good rates, got good music and uh, he'll make the party live for you. Uh, Keeping on with that, we're giving a shout out to Kaz, Kaz Calhoun. That's my uh, sizzle or fizzle compadre and uh, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, check out my other channel. Uh, the information is in the uh, description there. want to give another shout out to Sheila Zier. She is an amazing person, and I am very, very glad to know her. She's uh, done a lot for me, and uh, I just want to say props to her. Very, very special shout out to Black Men Run, the organization. Now, we've interviewed them before on the podcast, and I am part of the KC chapter, but I want to give a shout out to the whole organization because they do some really, really good things in the communities. And I I know their motto is a healthy brotherhood. It true emphasis on brotherhood. All those guys are amazing. Everybody roots for one another. And, And during their runs, they leave no man behind. It is a top-notch organization, and uh, I can't wait to get them back on. Um, show, when we did the interview with them, it was me and Kevin, so we got to get uh, them back on so that you can get in on that action. Those That'd are be awesome. good brothers, and uh, they very positive, very positive, outstanding. And uh, last but not least, I want to uh, give a shout-out to you. Uh, amazing co-host. Appreciate you, brother. You're uh, always got some fun stuff that we do on the show. Appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you too, sir. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. Glad Gives me a chance to, it's like therapy. I get to let some stuff off my chest here. That, that, that does come in handy sometimes. So, you know, you gotta have that therapy. Um, Actually, I want to give uh, another shout out to two more people. 
that come to mind. Uh, first off, George Griswell and uh, Daryl Duncan. They are part of the change group that we have on the Facebook forum. And we've been doing a 90 day challenge. Those brothers have been warriors. Um, they've been doing the challenge ever since it started. And we are on, um, I think we've only got five days left in the challenge, uh, four or five days left. And they've been through it the entire time. And they've done it with me every single day. So as we get closer to that 90th day, props to them. And um, can't wait to do another challenge. So we'll see what happens uh, for that. It's a great forum. If anybody's interested, it is part of Facebook. Uh, helps people get in shape and you learn about nutrition. There's stuff that we talk about about uh, mental health as well now because it, it's more than just the body. We want to talk about the mind, the body, the soul, the spirit. Um, make sure that you're 100% in every corner. And that's my shout outs for today. You got any shout outs, Joe? Thanks for watching. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ran that uh, for a while, didn't I? <laughs> right? And cut. No, nah, we're I'm good. I mean, I I could do just as long as just sit here and start listening to a bunch of people, but you know, I'll second, you know, people that I know, you know, with DJ 2K and Kaz and you know, I love you brothers and uh yeah. All right. Let's talk about entertainment. Have you seen John Wick yet? You you always ask me if, if I've seen a new movie, and I tell you I'm not going to the theaters to watch a new movie. But I'll go ahead and say it again. No, sir, haven't watched it yet. Uh don't go to theaters to watch new movies. My my bad, man. Have I, you I just, seen it? Uh, you know, I'm gonna say the same thing I say to you. I second that. <laughs> right. So, but I've I've heard that it it reached some massive box office numbers on its first uh first weekend. Yeah, I'm uh pulling up box office mojo right now. And obviously John Wick is the number one uh movie. And um let's see here. It has pulled let me see, is that daily or is oh yeah, that's that's daily. I want to see what it's pulled worldwide. Do 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 one hundred and thirty seven million eight hundred and seventeen thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. And is that in how many days? John Wick came out what last Friday? So we're looking over that was the it weekend week totals? Yet. Yeah. It ain't been a week yet. <laughs> what was the total of Shazam's? <laughs> like thirty? No, Shazam's done a little bit better. I mean, it's been out for a while now. No, I mean, no, I mean their first weekend wasn't only like thirty oh, yeah, million. It was thirty. It was there. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was pretty bad. Uh, right now, in one week, less than one week, John Wick has already surpassed Shazam's total gross. Yeah. So that doesn't yeah. surprise me. Uh, but if I look at the total grosses worldwide, Scream Four. Oh, that's not a four. That's Scream Six. I didn't realize there were that many screen movies. It's at 139 million plus. So now I almost my my kid tried to get me to go see that. Uh but I I didn't go. Uh she went for her birthday with her her older brother and she's like, "Come on, dad, let's go." And I'm like, "Ah, nah, you know, I don't do the theater things." But according to her, you know, she's a big you know, horror side, you know, that type of stuff. She said that it was, it was fairly good compared to the others. I'm definitely going to check so, it out when it gets on home video. I might watch it when it's on AMC or something like that. Three, three is at, uh, almost 247 mil. What so, is, uh, Creed three. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's, it's booking it. Ant-Man and the Wasp is at 469 million. So nice, you know, Marvel's doing their thing. It's a, it's going to be half a million again. here soon. It's a damn shame, though. Shazam and Ant-Man came out around the same time. Those numbers look staggeringly different. Well, I guess oh, Ant-Man yeah. did come out two weeks before, so. Well, um, and Ant-Man doesn't, doesn't redo what they did in Ant-Man 1 and 2. <laughs> that is true. That is true. From what I understand, that's the problem with Shazam. It's just basically the same thing, just different jokes. 
that kind of sucks. Um, I want to talk about some stuff going on in the news here. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna knock the serious stuff out of the way, uh, because you know we had that tornado in Mississippi. Um, and there was uh, I want to say at least two dozen people that died because of that uh, tornado, and uh, I just want to uh send out uh prayers to their families and uh hopefully uh you know the whole state can get past that and start to rebuild and i'm sure that it's going to be tough thing just uh big prayers going out to them what part of mississippi was that um i looked it up but i don't have the uh city area in there and it may have crossed uh city lines as well so that may be why I just put Mississippi in my notes. Why I don't, I'm not, I'm not a big uh, news watcher, you know, unless it's like really big and it just happens to come across my screen. So I hadn't heard about that, but mm. that was last week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to say it was around the weekend. I'm not sure I, I could be wrong. And, and I want to touch on one other thing that just happened. Uh, Ooh, F4. It was an F4, too. Yeah, mm, mm, it, mm. it did some major damage. And tornadoes are not anything to play with. Says um, at least 26. 26 dead. Mm. And it was in Jackson. Jackson, Mississippi. So it was in Jackson, okay. Um, Yeah. I'm in the entertainment business, so we glorify everything i hear tornado the first thing i think of is twister yeah uh they all lived so real life lets you know just how it really is and, and how things can horribly go wrong and i was having a talk with my wife the other day all right if we have a tornado coming our way what do we do quick think what did we do you know seeing what she knew what she was going to do she passed the test she's a good country girl she knows what to do so um was the answer go outside and take pictures no that's what i would do no. oh okay <laughs> no nah, nah. so i failed the test too <laughs> now we we know where to go and how where to be I mean, we living in what, Tornado Alley, we kind of know what to do. We've grown right. up with it our whole life. Mississippi is no. not necessarily Tornado Alley. I'm not going to lie. A couple years back, actually about, mm, I want to say eight years back, when I was the uh, store manager in the Hutchinson Mall for uh, Hibbit Sports, we did have a tornado. It was close. And, you know, because me and a couple other people were being jackasses instead of getting to the middle shelter of the mall first, we decided to open the door and take a look outside because it was that close. It was, you know, across the highway behind the Target store, but we got to watch the funnel. Now, had it turned and started coming our way, yeah, we would have got the hell on up out of there and got to the shelter, but it, it didn't do much damage. It actually dissipated long after that. I will say this though, um, cause I wanted to, you know, call my wife and let her know what was going on. That's not an option when you get in certain storm situations. Uh, the lines were busy and I'm talking about, I'm on a cell phone and I couldn't get coverage. So yep. you, that's why I tell her, you got to know what to do in case something happens. Yes, sir. Right. Um, also, and I'm sure you've heard about this one. This is pretty big. Nashville, Tennessee, the another school shooting. This is horrible. Um, the shooter's name was Audrey Hale, and she shot six people, uh, three faculty members and uh, three nine-year-old students. Horrible. Um, they're still putting the pieces together on this because this is still pretty new. I, I guess they had footage online. Uh, she used an assault rifle. She shot through the glass and came in. And um, 
she's a 28 year old uh transgender woman i am guessing and it hasn't been confirmed yet i think that she used to either work there or go to school there and there may have been some uh ridicule on her part or towards her cuz Nobody randomly goes in and just shoots up a school. There's always some underlying motive. I just keep hearing about these school shootings now, and it's like, damn, there's one every month, it seems like. Do we have to take it out on the kids? You know, my wife sent something, and I don't know how accurate this is, but it was it was from um, the Morning Brew Mm-hmm. And it's kind of hard for me to digest because I haven't heard of the other 128 shootings, but it says that the Nashville shooting is the 129th shooting this year in 2023. We're only three months in. Wow. So I was all in it because I said it seems like what we hear about it every every month, but that's more like every and it's, week. And it says what it, you know, it's the 129th mass shooting this year, which is defined by the gun violence archive as an incident where four or more people are shot and either injured or killed. That's equivalent so far this year to 10 mass shootings per week or at least two per day. I still love all the two per day. That's I mean, two alone is too, too much. Two per day is just unfathomable. Every time I hear about, and I'm I'm going to try to keep my emotions in check because we just had a nice podcast last week about that. So I'm going to try to do my best here. But um, every time I hear about a mass shooting, especially schools, it really pisses me off. Like, like there's an anger in me that I can't explain. Uh, you know, no matter what the reason is for the person that shot whoever, some people do it because they got picked on. You know, if you go back to Columbine, you know, that's kind of what it was. Um, some people just want to be in the news because they gets glorified. So they want their name in headlines. You know, they want to be a star. They want their little five seconds of fame. You know, and I'm a proponent for guns. I mean, you have your right to bear arms. I get that. And I'm okay with it. I don't care if you you know, if you want an AK-47, go buy one. I don't care. You want to, it's, that's your given right in this nation. But to take advantage of that, you know, I'm like I said, I'm trying not to get pissed off. But, I understand. Uh, I understand. Uh, you know, four, two airplanes flew into the World Trade Center in 2001, and the entire airport system changed the way that we board and unboard planes to make sure that it is safe so that shit doesn't happen again. Why aren't we taking that same priority with with the schools? I, I don't understand why that's not a priority. These kids, that is just is no different than we should feel safe in our home as parents when we drop our kids off at school, we should feel and they should feel safe, period. When we were in school, what kind of, what kind of, uh, um, and we're just talking about what kind of practice drills do we do? Fire drills, tornado drills, right? Mm -hmm. Kids nowadays are doing active shooter drills. Yes. Like, but oh, I'm going to, I'm going to take it a step further, you know, from somebody who's worked in the school system nine times out of 10. And I hate to say this, but it's true. Nine times out of 10. These things don't work. And I'm going to tell you why. A lot of people know when it's a drill and they know what to do because they know it's a drill. If it just happens all of a sudden and you don't know if it's a drill or not, there are too many people that get too emotional and they either forget what to do or they all of a sudden do something different because they think that they know better. And that messes things up too. And I'm going to tell you something else about an active shooter drill. If somebody comes in and they start firing, a lot can happen before word gets to the office to send an alert. 
So we've got to have better preparations in these schools. I agree with you 100%. There should not be a way for them to get into the school. I don't care. I mean, castles, you dig a moat around each school and raise a drawbridge for all I care. You know, I mean, you just don't get in. And and I'm, I'm not trying to be funny, but I mean, like there have been... I know there's layers and I'm just talking about the Wyandotte County school system, but there are layers in a school. So you have to buzz in the front door and then you get to a second door and have to be buzzed in again. That's a security step. That step actually saved Olathe South last year or the year before last, because the shooter just got through the first step, but couldn't get in the second step. So he wasn't able to, do what damage he was trying to plan to do. So that's good. But the fact that he got to where he was, that step needs to be rectified. Agreed. And granted, I know no matter what steps you are, they'll wait till recess and just start firing up the, you know, stupid crap like that. But it's just well, so this irritating. One in Tennessee, it shows that she actually shot up the door to get in. So, you know, having it locked didn't help. So um I know from when I worked in the school system, there's a camera up there, but I got to tell you that camera is not a hundred percent. It gets you from here on up if you're right at it. And if the sun's pointing the wrong way, all you get is a silhouette. So you don't know who it is. And I know a lot of people would just like press the button and let people in no matter what. So, because they get in the room. Because they think it don't happen to you. It's not, it's not going to happen here. Exactly. So I'm a hundred percent in agreement with you and it definitely needs to be revised, revamped. And we need to, you know, cause these are our kids that we're talking about here. If, if, and I'm not advocating going and shooting up a business full of adults or anything either. But again, I go back to these kids haven't done anything to anybody, especially these nine year old kids, nine years old. They don't know who that is coming in. And that person doesn't know them. So you've got to be mentally unstable to try to do something like that in the first place. Get some help. At the very least, get some help. If you got to shoot somebody, I'm not an advocate for suicide either, but point the gun at yourself. You're going to get the chair anyway. So go on ahead yeah. and do it. Men- mental health is a serious thing. And, and if you, you know, if anybody out there watching, if you're having it, you know, look for help. I'm sure by the time this podcast airs, we could throw up some some hotline numbers on the bottom of the screen for people to call if they need assistance. I'll definitely do that. But, you know, I just also, you know, prayers and condolences to the families of the yes. ones that lost their lives. Um. You know, for that community, I'm sure that's going to be a um, a difficult thing to process. Um, you know, them children are going to be looking over their backs and scared whenever they hear a loud noise, a car backfire, glass breaking. They're going to, you know, they're, they're going to be scared for a while. Uh, yeah. So hopefully, you know, Lord will put his protective arms and hedges around those and comfort them and and just protect us all. That's why I always say, you know, tomorrow's not promised. Be sure that, you know, you speak words of positivity and life into one another. That you love each other. Um, and if you can't do that, you need to make sure that you do it to yourself because, you know, words are powerful and even words that you tell yourself you know, and I'm speaking from experience, you know, the words that you speak to yourself are powerful as well. So be sure that you're trying to do the right thing. And if you can't ask for help. Absolutely. Hey, um, I know we getting ready to get out of here, but I've, I've got to end on a uh, more, uh, a, on a less somber note. Yes, sir. I keep hearing these commercials about rocket money. Rocket Money can save you money because it will find subscriptions that you're paying for and cancel the ones you don't use. Um, people, don't fall for the scam. Why would you pay a subscription fee 
for something to find your subscriptions. First of all, if you're losing that much money, you better look in your bank book and find out what you're paying. Because if you don't balance the checking and the savings, then you don't deserve to know what extra money you're spending. Because if it's coming out of your account, there's a paper trail. You don't need to pay another company to look at your stuff and then cancel it for you. That's the that's the society that we live in. It, it, here, yeah. fix it. Here, fix it. I here. And they are banking on you, letting them spend a month fixing all that, and then you continuing to forget that you have that subscription, and you're paying for it every month. But in the in the long run, if you know, let's say it costs ten bucks for their monthly subscription, they end up saving me a hundred bucks. You know. I'm, you know, and then I pay them their 10. So they saved me 90. It was worth it. Until the next month where they're not doing anything anymore. And you give them another 10, nine months goes by. Well, I mean, if you're dumb enough to keep it going, then, <laughs> you know, by all means, I, I know some people, but, but I, but I do know that the way these streaming services are, it's real easy to accidentally pay for the same service stream more than once with a different you know, whether it be Disney plus or Hulu plus, 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 or ESPN plus, or, you know, whatever. Oh yeah. I believe it. Apple Cause Apple's they're all, like about bun- that. they're you all your bundling new iPhone, now. You get three months of Apple and you enter your stuff in there. If you forget after that three months, they start charging you. Oh yeah. But that's not what I mean. But like, you know, Hulu now, Mm-hmm. has a deal with Disney Plus. So you can, if you join Hulu, you can get Disney Plus and ESPN. But if you have Disney Plus, you can do the same thing. So if you're not paying attention and you don't have Hulu and you yeah. sign for it, so now I'm paying for everything twice, you know. Doesn't Fall make for sense. the okie doke. Yes. Yeah. The bait and sw- the proverbial bait and switch. Yeah, I, I think they used to be called True Bill, but now they're called Rocket Money. Um. Yeah, be wary of a company that switches names after just one year. So, um, yeah, they got you. Don't let them get you. They got you. All right. So here's a riddle joke for you before we go. That's what I was going to ask you if you had one. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? Wow. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment? And, and never in never. a thousand years. I don't know. The letter M. Yep, set myself up for that one, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, you, though. You play golf, right? Yes, I do. So why do dads take an extra pair of socks when they go play golf? Ooh, bonus joke. Um... I don't know. In case they get a hole in one. I should have saw that one coming. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking it has something to do with the water, having to get your ball or whatever. Okay. I walked into that one too, folks. Hey, guys. Uh, don't quit make, sure that you, uh, so. make sure that you guys get in touch with us at the Slightly Warped Podcast at yahoo.com. And... Uh, even though it's it a little somber, it's been pretty good. Appreciate you. Take us on out of here. Remember, it's like we just discussed. Tomorrow's not a promise. Love each other. See you next week. See y'all.